Okay, so you want to create this iridescent sort of polarized lens effect in Blender. Um, and if you're anything like me, you started out by creating a glass BSDF or maybe a principled BSDF, um, giving it some transparency and adding some color to it. Um, and you probably quickly found out that that's not the effect that you're looking for at all. And it looks more like a colored plexiglass, if anything. And let me show you why. So if you look at this reference image here, you'll find that the coloration actually only appears in areas where you can see reflections. In areas where there's no reflection and you're seeing straight through the glass, yeah, there's no coloration at all and it's completely desaturated. So how do we recreate this effect? Um, we're actually gonna wanna take the glass shader and split it up into its component parts so that we can colorize just the reflections and not the refraction portion of the glass. And let me show you how to do that. So let's create a new material for our helmet glass here. Let's get rid of that new material. Delete this. You're going to want to create a refraction BSDF as well as a glossy BSDF and a mix shader. Let's combine the two of those. And right now it does not look good. At this point, you're just mixing between transparent and shiny. Um, and we wanna mix these actually based on a Fresnel. So let's add a Fresnel node. I found in this case a value of 1.15 works pretty well. Let's plug that into the factor. And then here, you essentially have the glass shader. But the added advantage here is that now we have the color section separate for the glossy and the refraction. So all we got to do from here is add color to our glossy. And voila, now the areas that are not showing any reflections have no coloration either. But there's a little bit more to this effect. Um, let me show you that. You can see a little bit of it here. Um, the hue of the coloration actually changes depending on the angle that you look at it. So in this particular case, the angle that is more perpendicular to our camera is yellow. And as it angles away from the camera, we get a purple hue. Um, and you can see that, especially in this case here, we transition from a purple hue down to a yellow. Um, so we can replicate that pretty easily here. You're going to want a layer weight node and then you're going to, want to plug the facing output into the color input of your glossy bsdf and right in between you're going to want a color ramp node and here you can add whatever colors your heart desires in our case let's do a uh, a blue to a nice teal green i think looks nice Essentially, that is...